still going. Jason Colby. Jason Colby. They won't catch him. Jason Robinson. Dominici scores for France. A couple of front rowers close into the ruck here on the open side. Inside a Horan again. Good continuity now from the Australians. Almost clear, Matt Burke. Driving on now. This is really dangerous. Oh, and Gregan looking the wrong way, then going himself. Horan, Finnegan. Try in the corner. I think it's Ben Tune who got over. And the Australians know that that's what could be the decisive moment. Oh, and it was good play from Australia. Fantastic build-up. Ben Tune, he's strong as well as quick. You can see it there, he gets it over. No doubt about it, Georgie Gregan, he makes the break. Timmy Horan in the move. Ben Tune, he doesn't miss from there. He's a terrific try scorer. The most recent outing in June. These two sides. He's fun to move it. Here's Ben Cohen. Jason Robinson. Oh, he's guessed them. What a burst by Robinson. He has Greenwood outside. But is this the try that could change the game? It's Un unbelievable Jason Robinson, turn of speed. He's been looking to counter-attack all night. Yeston Harris had to make the tackle on him. And Will Greenwood, that's try time. Saunders feeds the scrum again then. Gets it away to Keyes. Curtis in midfield. Up from fullback is Staples. Little kick in his face for Jack Clark. Clark gets the ball. Now he's got support. Charging through is Gordon Hamilton. Has he got the pace to get there to mid-flanker? Yes! Runs down road, erupts then. As Ireland get that fantastic breakaway try by Gordon Hamilton. His first try for his country, playing today in his ninth international. And look at that score. The Irish are ahead by one point. What a try. Gordon Hagen will remember that vividly for the rest of his life. It was superb play by the Irish, and really now a game of four in the back of Chris Wheeler. It was a wide passing there from the Irish that made the gaps an opportunity. The kick then put through. Rob Edgerton did a good tackle, but they just had the momentum carried him over. Lovely hands to Sinclair. He keeps it alive. England moving hard and up the park here. Five away. It began back on the 50 metre line. Bang it in close here through Laws. They pick and go and they're over. It is a rapid strike for England. And Manu Tuolungi's name goes up in lights at Yokohama. Let it to happen. There's a great chance here as Ebony beats out to Shaw. Taken on there by Pascal on dark. Now fed out again from Garraway along the line. And there's a great chance here as Charvet goes over the 22. It's Bepizia once more. And Lajiske goes. Lajiske has Blanco outside. Interception almost by that outcome. A great try, Rodriguez standing on and Blanco has scored. That's the try, surely, that takes the Frenchman to the final. Rodriguez, the man who gave the scoring pass.
Charging through there was Lewery. Being turned over, Martin Williams doing the good work. Peel. There's Shanklin. Good pass, here's a real opportunity for Shane Williams. Williams steps another man. Steps another man. A piece of individual brilliance. Wales slowly working their way back into this game. Shane Williams, his 35th try in international rugby. Well, Fiji had control of the ball, then they lost it, the turnover. They, they saw they had the mismatch out wide, and Williams, such speed, electrified running, does him on the inside, big step again off the right. I can't really criticise the Fiji in defence, and because Williams is such a dangerous runner at one-on-one. -on -one. And the French have it. They're like terriers in those rucks at the moment. Dominici, he's going to go in. Dominici scores for France. They take the lead. Oh, can you believe it? Dominici can't. French crowd can't. They're loving it. It was a beautiful kick and a kind bounce. Galtier saw it, left foot, just chipped it over. Lovely bounce for Dominici, but he's now got pace to burn. Randall will get nowhere near him. Taken in the tackle of Adam Burns, and Cooper has it. They decide on the kick again for Radiki Samo. He swallows it up, gets rid of one. Can't get her on the outside of Siblikiewicz, but have a look at Higginbotham in support to Sharp. Oh, it's wonderful! Cooper! And it's a try for McKelman. Unselfish play from the fly half. And Ben McCalman goes over for Australia's third. Good vision from Quade Cooper. Pushed the first two or three phases with the pass. This time he elected to just chip to the right wing. The big fella's there. He's calling for it. He gets it. and says, oh, you have it, McCalman. Oh, and in comes Damien Trey. Using his pace, well it might have been a touch forward but he got away with it. Michelin, then pass inside, and Josio, over. Well immediately, the pace and the penetration of Michelin counts. Damien try using his strength, and France are back level with the conversion to come. Now was this forward? Yes, it was, by a mile, no question about that. Rukathoko even was appealing for it. He should have been concentrating on saving the day. What a try. What a terrific piece of work there by Michelac. Not really causing Scotland too many problems. Rafaele once more. Now there might be trouble for Kuoka. Brilliant, brilliant off the floor. And in goes Matsushima. Unreal. Brilliant work, commentators curse, just as I said, Japan work causes Scotland any problems. Brilliant down the left-hand side from Fukuoka. He's been involved early on, held up early on, the small man, but just watch this on a replay. And that man just knows his way to the try line like no other winger. Brilliant work, and another try for Matsushima KT. Jones came up the line there to make the jump, now that's unusual. Taylor now, Stanley again. What can Ireland do? Costello goes straight to the light man in Michelac. Stringer, Humphreys, the little kick in behind. No, can he get it down? That's dry I time. think he's got it down. 
tried of Ireland, Brian O'Driscoll, clever play by Humphreys, good lead-up work by Costello, Ireland back scoring their second try. And O'Driscoll just took his time, it looked like it was in slow motion, but one-handed just plucked it out of the air and whacks it down before the line, that is skill. Across the park they come, and losing it. Arms there, pops up at a toy. Here comes Cheslin Colby. Colby bounces towards the fence, beats one, still going. Cheslin Colby, Cheslin Colby, South Africa, the World Cup is theirs. Get into this, Martins. One on one. Gets Oi Far, one of the best defenders in the world, stands him up and he's over KT. Well, Cheslin Colby. Remember, as running on one ankle, couldn't go last week in the semi-final. Can go in the final. Chislin Colby is top shelf. Now McCaw straight ahead to the 22 almost. Snatched away by Whipu. Truden now. Dag up in the line. Little show of the ball. Dag! And Fred Donato! Fred Trotter the All Blacks! Dag, brilliant! What the hell? Israel Dag! Test match was so much pressure. Once he got outside Elson, he pinned his ears back, but how did he get that ball to Nonu? It looked like he was going to get bundled into touch. You can see Elson there. He starts to panic and chase. He can't quite get there. The fin blows him away. Then the ball off the ground. Elba on the ground. Try time the All Blacks. Well, Anthony Fyinga was caught in no man's land, and Israel Dag is giving Australia nightmares. Spun right across the pitch there. Dupree, then to Butch James, then uh, Brian Habana chases it. Habana interfered with off the ball, but Brian Habana is going to score his seventh try of the tournament. And I thought the referee might have penalised that had he not scored, because one of the Argentine players definitely got his shirt. But that is an indication of the blistering speed of the left winger for South Africa. Well, that's what he's so good at, but this was it. And from that moment onwards, a long pass in the midfield. He really is a sprinter, isn't he? And all credit to the Argentine defence, they just didn't give up, but... That puts South Africa further away from Argentina. Here's Delalio, the big man with a lovely pass to Wilkinson and Robinson! They won't catch him! Jason Robinson! Handballs it into the crowds. England with a lethal blow in the shadows of half time. Johnny Wilkinson looked outside for his speed man in Robinson. So that speeds to Tim Horan. He's got gas to burn, hasn't he? Wilkinson puts the ball out in front of Robinson and he makes sure by sliding early for his 16th test try. Look at the year, you beauty. He's fired up. Save the try. And the cover. Sign yet of an early penalty by referee Hilditch. Bash up again, New Zealand maintaining possession. Wide to Lamu. He's got the bounce. He's handed it off his opposite. Lamu. Oh, oh. All muscle and pump. He's over for the early try. Two minutes into the game. Jonah Lamu. 
A standing ovation. Let's enjoy this again. What a sensational start. Bashup did it well. He cleared the space. The ball went a little wide, but Lamu pushes off one. And then Carling comes at him. He puts him off. And then he goes straight over the top of the last defender and scores a brilliant try for the All Blacks. A magic start. But Lamu had a lot of work to do. He pushed Underwood off. He's gone straight down the line. Carling didn't get near him. Off balance. Gets over the top of Cat and scores the try.